What's up guys, we are back talking about a phone system that has a really cool feature to it that we have never seen on the market until now. That's right, it's a gimbal inside of a phone and it's only in the Vivo X50 Pro. Now we have seen a number of camera systems on phones out there. I mean, this is pretty much the primary reason why someone buys one smartphone over the other. We've seen two cameras, three cameras, four cameras, super zooms that go a hundred times that nobody ever uses because the image quality is really bad. But this feature is something I think a lot of people will use. Let's talk about it. Now, before we get into the specs of the phone and the camera system, I do want to tell you that we are partnering with Vivo on this project. Having said that, though, I'm still going to give my honest thoughts and feedback and the features that I like the most about this device. Now, this design is very reminiscent of other smartphones we have seen on the market. It's got that waterfall display curved on the left and the right and all underneath. It's about a 6.56 inch AMOLED display. It has a 90 hertz refresh rate and 180 hertz touch refresh rate on it. So it is very, very fast to the touch. And I love the 90 hertz. I, 90 hertz to me is that sweet spot for the displays because some either go 60 or 120. But 120 can also burn out that battery a little bit quicker. The 90 is that nice bit where it's just fast, it feels responsive, the battery life still holds out really well. And speaking of battery life, we got a 4,300 and change milliamp battery to this, so you're gonna get all day usage out of this phone and maybe a day and a half depending on how you use it. This display is a really nice display. It's only HD+, but you have color accurate settings in there, so you can go sRGB or P3 color gamut. We've seen this in other phones out there. I appreciate this, especially because I do a lot of photography and editing. I want something that is more color accurate, so when I do send it out to people or clients, it looks like how it should look. So you can do that inside of this phone. Also with 398 PPI for your Pixel Peepers out there, just in case you're wondering. Snapdragon 765G inside of this phone. The 765 is a nice mid-range chipset. It has plenty of power in this phone. Honestly, it's fast, it's fluid, it runs really well. You got Android 10, you got your Fun OS on this as well. The skin on it isn't that bad, to be honest with you. Some skins can be way overdone. What Vivo has done on this is just subtle, it works, I like the additions that they put into this, and it's very easy to navigate, it's very Android-like, I like the skin, keep going with that Vivo. Besides that though, I mean this is a very solid phone, it feels really well built, but the star of the show is the camera system inside of this, let's talk about that now. You've got a 32 megapixel selfie camera, you have a 48 megapixel main camera, you've got a 13 megapixel portrait camera, you've got an 8 megapixel zoom camera, and an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera. The star of the show of course is the 48 megapixel camera because inside or surrounding that camera I should say is a new gimbal system that Vivo has put in this phone that we've never seen on a smartphone out to market as of yet. Better optical image stabilization in a phone is a big deal, especially for people that want to do video and want to do photography, low light photography. This is a welcomed addition, and this is one of the things that I really like about the Vivo X50 Pro. If you've ever used a gimbal, obviously, that can be a very cumbersome experience, especially if you're new to using them, because you've got to balance the camera various different ways. You might not know the controls. It's a learning process. Vivo has made this relatively simple inside of the phone. It's already working, but it really works when you kick on the ultra image stabilization, which is a mode inside of the video, and also in low light photography if you're gonna do night mode. That's when you see this gimbal in play. You see that because first off, if you're doing low light photography, you can actually have a longer exposure time and get much more detail, lower noise, and a better overall image. That's a big, big deal. Another aspect though is the video. Because when we're shooting video with a gimbal, that's when you want that ultra smooth, that nice epic B-roll shots that you get. Well, we're gonna do some tests right now, me and Kai Hong, we're gonna go out there, I'm gonna get my cycling gear, and we're gonna do some tests on the bike, we're gonna do some epic B-roll shots of, you know, with riding the bike and getting the movement and see how smooth it is. Some product shots, check this footage out. So let's talk about how this system works inside the camera. Now it's a convergence of an actual mechanical gimbal inside of the camera housing as well as software involved. 
you really see it kick in when you click on the ultra stable mode at the top of the screen when you're in video mode. Now what happens is that your image will crop in a little bit and whatever video format that you're in, if you're in 4K 60 or 4K 30, it will go to 1080. That's the only way that you can use ultra stable on this phone as of right now. Will it change in a firmware update? I have no clue, but it's only 1080. But to be honest with you, for social media, 1080 is the max anyway, so no issues at all with that. Now also, there is a mode that you can click on that's called stabilization. And what that does, it brings up this sort of circular dial in the middle of the screen and has this little round bubble inside of it. What the whole gist of this is, is that you gotta keep that bubble inside of the circle, and that means that you're in the most stable uh, position and area as you're moving around. So it's kind of like a level in a way, but as long as you're in that circle, it's gonna be stabilized. So that's really how it works. And with the gimbal, it's not as immediate. So as you move, then the camera just kind of gives a nice little pan to it. So you move, it's a nice little pan to it. So it's not a very jittery at all. It has this no more cinematic look to your footage. This really takes practice to use. It's not something that you're gonna pull out of your pocket and use right away. This is something you're gonna really have to practice with and get to know the phone a bit more. But once you nail it, like a normal gimbal and a camera system, you're gonna be well rewarded with some beautiful video footage. Now also in regards to the gimbal, let's talk about night photography because that's also interesting as well. Let me put it in an example like this. If you have a camera on a tripod at night, let's say we're at Marina Bay Sands and I wanna shoot this skyline, for example, I'm gonna put it on a tripod. So it's stable, longer exposure, more light comes in, sharper, vibrant image. It looks a lot better than hand-holding. Same concept in this phone, except we don't have a tripod. The gimbal system will be like that pseudo tripod for your phone, so you hold it up, you're gonna get a much sharper image, probably one some of the best night mode images I've seen on a camera phone to date because of this gimbal system alone. So if you're into night photography, check this out. You might be very, very impressed. Now, let's talk about photography for a moment as well because here's another cool feature to this is tracking, right? Because let's say you wanna shoot some fast action. Usually what you do is just hold the button down and take a bunch of photos and some of them are in focus and some of them are not. But with this, you have a tracking ability where you press, hold down on the subject, it locks on like a tracking, like on a camera system. You can move around and fire and it's always gonna be focused on that person. So there's a lot of software, a lot of cool features inside of this. Even though this is the first time we're seeing a lot of these features in a camera system like this, this is just the beginning. These are features I think that are more usable for people out there versus zooms and other stuff out there that we would never use that'll be just such a gimmick. But a gimbal, better low light photography, better video quality, um, different features, tracking for photography, I'm on board with this. I really like the camera system inside of this phone. All right, so my overall thoughts on the phone is that it's impressive. The camera system in this, to me, is really impressive. Now, sure, the 48 megapixel camera is the star of the show. The other cameras are decent, but the 48 megapixel camera really has some great resolving power. The video out of it is fantastic. The gimbal feature, I think, is a game changer for um, smartphone technology nowadays, especially with content creators. I mean, I can imagine if I was a real estate agent and I want to show someone a home or an apartment, I want to do a walkthrough, you know, instead of hiring somebody with a gimbal system and a camera system and doing this, I could just take out this phone, walk through, the footage is going to be nice and smooth and it might help you land up for your deals. Or you wanna shoot a wedding, so you wanna just do some cool stuff on TikTok or Instagram. This is gonna help you out as well. And even my cycling video is something different, something interesting, something fun that I would only be able to pull off with a smartphone like this that had this capability. Now, of course, I could use other cameras out there, but that's a whole other setup. But sometimes the best camera that we have is the one in our pocket, and the X50 Pro delivers in a lot of those ways. I definitely recommend check this out especially if you're a content creator, you think you're gonna really like what Vivo's offered with this. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the X50 Pro. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like always, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, be safe out there, and we'll chat to you soon. Take care.